Could Mirror's Edge Catalyst be a dumbed down version of Mirror's Edge? Let's discuss this. What's up guys? My name is Kevin. I do gameplay commentaries and what I want to talk about in this video today is whether or not you feel that Mirror's Edge Catalyst could be a dumbed down casual version of what the original Mirror's Edge game is. Because we saw a lot of great things at E3. We saw the open world, we saw no load screens, you know, they mentioned a lot of side quests as well as long as the main mission. So like, there's a lot more content in this game which I'm super excited about. You know, because I beat the first Mirror's Edge game in like 8 hours. It was a very short game with only campaign essentially once you beat it through that one time the next goal is just really just try to speed run it but it looks like this mirror's edge cast is going to give you a lot more content for what you're going to be buying which i'm all for but i do have my concerns my two main concerns are that the gunplay in mirror's edge catalyst is just non-existent you won't even be able to pick up guns in mirror's edge catalyst and two is that while you're running you're going to be invulnerable to bullets so i'm worried that this might be a possible dumbed down version of what mirror's edge one is because in mirror's edge one that was like a selling point it's like you know you got this free running ability you can do all these cool parkour moves but it can also be a shooter if you want to play it like that as well it gives the players options helps with add more variation to the gameplay so it doesn't become stale and boring after a first couple hours of playing. Now with Mirror's Edge Catalyst, they completely removed gunplay in the game. You're not even going to be able to pick up a gun in the game, which to me, I think still falls in line with the vision of what Mirror's Edge is. When I played the game, I didn't shoot a single bullet because I feel like it kind of defeated the purpose of what Mirror's Edge is. Though, I liked it that the fact that it's still an option in the game. Giving players options to play the game the way they want to play it rather than being forced into a certain play style. Especially with this open world aspect coming to the game, it gives you plenty of options to do whatever you want in the game. It should give players the option to use guns as well if they want to do that. And secondly, while you're running in Mirror's Edge Catalyst, you're going to be invulnerable to bullets, which is the main concern. Could this possibly be the dumbing down of Mirror's Edge to make it easier for players to play through the game? My main concern about this implementation of this mechanic is that you'll lose the suspense of playing the game against enemy characters. When you know that you can't get hurt or die, it loses all suspense in the game to where then it just becomes boring and there's no sense of danger, no excitement that will happen as long as you're running. They even mention if you have to be running at full speed, as long as you're just moving, you're invulnerable. With the fact as well that apparently there's gonna be some new takedowns that will not slow down your momentum, you can essentially be running around the entire game with no sense of danger because you'll be invulnerable. These enemy characters will be shooting at you with guns like freaking stormtroopers from Star Wars where they can't even hit the side of a barn. Looking like some cheesy 80s film or something like that. That was part of the fun of Mirror's Edge 1 is so how do I go about taking out these guys without getting shot by not running directly at them and getting killed by them because they have guns. I'm just using my fists. So it puts you at a disadvantage in the game. So it makes you think about how do I go about in an interesting way to take out these characters without exposing myself too much, giving you that sense of danger that you need to have the gameplay be interesting and fun. It's almost like working out a puzzle, like in freaking Portal. That's why I liked about the game as well. That it kind of gives you like that portal puzzle element of the game as well, because you got to figure out exactly how to maneuver through the map without using the guns because that's my personal play preference of the game. I just hope that they implement this mechanic correctly because if you can just run around full speed, not getting shot, loses all sense of danger, the game will become boring very quickly and people will just drop it as soon after a couple months of playing it. But let me know what you guys think about that in the comments section down below. Do you think Mirror's Edge Catalyst is going to be a dumbed down version of what Mirror's Edge 1 is? Or do you think it's going to be a, a new breath of fresh air coming to the game series, rebooting it, bringing it back to the new gen consoles and PC? I'm still excited for this game. I hope you guys are as well. Leave a comment down below what you guys thinking about the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video as well. It helps the video get more known for other people who are more interested in Mirror's Edge content. But thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Peace out.